Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. NG. We are back on Subnautica, and I have finished, quote unquote, finished my base. I've almost completely finished it. Ooh. And what I want to do is I want to show you how far down that ended up going because turns out we used all the titanium. I all of it. I actually take the titaniums in my inventory from the uh, outpost because I ran out of titanium which is just wonderful you know I actually had to go back and get more titanium in order to uh, make everything also I decided to build a little bit of a farm and I want to show you guys a couple of neat tricks that I learned like for one these bulbo trees give you 10 H2O or water and three food which is really great because everything else seems to get you more uh, food than water this works out real nicely. So, that's that. I also collected all these different types of uh, plants and stuff and just kind of try to figure it out. I also figured out that marble melons, if you break them with a knife, will also uh, turn into seeds and you can uh, do more stuff with that. So, that being said, I'm sure you guys want to see what the bottom looks like. So, we're going to go down there. If I don't get stuck. Okay. We're going to go down there and uh, check it out. And we're going to go down to the bottom, which, by the way, I cannot drive Welcome the um, Seamoth to the bottom. Because for some odd reason, oops, don't want to do that. It's uh, deeper than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> That's not some odd reason. It's, it's really deep. So this thing goes down to 300 meters because Welcome of that uh, compress comp compensator or... Uh, whatever it was, I didn't really read it too well. I got a... Let's see here. That's that. Why is it so blue? Oh, I think I got it this way. That's about... Ah, there we are. Here is my... Uh, ba base. What hit me? Oh, I, I ran into that. Okay. And that's where my base goes. <laughs> it gets really dark down here, by the way. Don't know why that is, but anyways, I'm gonna keep going down. We are at 200 meters. You can see the bottom here. At 200 meters right now, and this is what I have put in. 300 meters is passing safe depth. Right here. That's as low as I can go, and this is my base. Which is really cool looking. Um, I really like it. I use a lot of glass because I had way too much glass. I don't know why I collected so much quartz. Because I didn't need the quartz for like anything. But uh, this is my base. And uh, I'll show you around a little bit. Um, I had to do a couple things to keep it working right. There's that. Can't, I don't think I put anything in the bottom. Why is it lagging? Probably because I haven't been down here in a while. Anyways, so there, uh, you can see I didn't do too much in here yet. I want to add some aquariums. Can't remember if I had an aquarium in there. I think I had an aquarium up there. And what do I have in here left? Enameled glass. So, if I do this, I can go all the way to the top. Really, 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 really quick. And I don't have anything in it outside of a couple of supports every now and then because uh, apparently I need supports to keep this thing up and running. Alright, so that's that. That isn't too, too special. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's really cool, but I still can't walk over here. Don't know why. I get jammed right about um, here. Yeah, I don't know why that is. It's the oddest thing, but, you know, I'm still alive. I'm still doing fine. I need another one of these. Boop, thank you. And I should get rid of these survival lives somewhere. And I'll probably find those at some point and go, Hey, look, two survival knives. <laughs> but anyways, there's no delete system in this game. Oh, I left my sea moth down there. That wasn't very smart. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to be going down, oh, going back over to the Aurora because um, we had an update. And I don't know if that update uh, returned the radiation, uh, so I have to go fix that again. Or if after three days, I think it's been three days. It's had Why did I jump back down here? I got to go in there. 
Uh, after that three day period, it's supposed to do something. So supposed to do something. So I'm not sure really sure if uh, we need to refix it or how that works. So I'll be right back right when we get there. Hello. Toxic farts. I haven't seen you guys in forever. <laughs> My old friends, the toxic farts. <laughs> All right, so up we go. In here, and what's this? Uh, message. A message. New biological subjects des uh, designated. Mode switch hunting slash analyzing. Sharing subject location with other agents. Okay. Uh, this is Life 8 requesting immense assistance. We have touched down close to the crash site and radiation levels are too high to disembark. According to the manifested manifest life pods 5 through 11 should be equipped with radiation suits. Ooh. If anyone can hear this, please retrieve these suits and converge on our position to for evac. Uh, coordinates are attached. This message will now repeat. Cool. Uh, car flag it, get you up, Flayara. What? Whoa! What is this? That's a different language. Something speaking to us in a different language. All right, this is an automatic distress uh, signal from uh, Life Pod Seven. Coordinates attached. Please send immense emergency relief team. Well, it seems like we aren't the only people who had a little issue with the. Uh, crash landing but we already saw that the other people died or the they had a hole in their ship or whatever uh, whatever happened what was I doing in here I was getting a new power cell okay there we go so we have a new a new power cell so that should be um, good to go where is my there it is welcome aboard captain thank you medium oh it says we're life pod 8 and Life pod eight, uh, life pod eight and seven are. Well, that's kind of nifty. That'll come in real handy. I probably didn't bring any food with me again. I keep forgetting to do that. Life pod eight is. What's that? It looks like life pod eight is under the ground. <laughs> I'm not sure what to think of this. I can't dig. I don't know. Where do I normally get in? That point right there, but there was a point I saw back here. I'm going to try going in this way. Because I'm pretty sure that goes directly to the um, power cell room or whatever that room is called. Where did that hole go? I'm sure it was like right here. You just kind of go up to it and it's like to the right. Like right here. Maybe they got rid of it? I don't know why they would have got rid of a hole, but. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go around then, and uh, we'll go back into that area that I went to. And hopefully, there are no monsters to uh, get rid of. Because since with this new update, I don't know what the update did, I didn't read anything about it. Oh, those things scare me so much every time they scream at me. And this whole thing's shaking like, whoa. I don't know what that noise is. It, it's, it sounds like a monster. It really gives me the, the shivers. That's the right word. Okay, let's see here. Where are those crabs at? There's a crab. It's not attacking me yet, though. There's a crab. Tried to attack me. Ooh, I got a new power cell. Sweet. Another signal, another power cell. I should have just kept those batteries. I didn't know I'd have power cells in here. Yeah. Freaking heck. 
Looks like they caught up to me. I'm on fire! Why am I on fire? Well, I do not like those little crab things. Where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. Get out of here. Alright, I got the signal. Got one of those. Alright, let's get out of here. Looks like everything respawned up here. And, uh, there's like ten times more crabs than normal. There's a battery. That's always good. Okay, this is where we go because I couldn't figure out that. Well, those things just jumped off. That's completely fine with me if you ask me. Ow. Bye bye. I sure hope I didn't fling anything off that I needed. Um, why can I not pick that up? Well, I don't believe I can pick that up. That's the oddest thing. Well, I can't pick that up. Hmm. Hello. Don't shoot it. Don't attack me. Ooh, a fire extinguisher. I like those. I wonder if I can use it. I wonder if it actually works. That's that's the better question. It actually works. Well, that's awesome. This has changed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Propulsion cannon fragment. It changed the location. Okay. So I guess now they are different places. Um, what was here is missing. So since that's the case, <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh! There's a thing in there. There's a thing of a jigger in there. I need it. Come on, put it out. Good job. Why am I on fire? Okay, that should be everything. Alright, so there's a new section in the Aurora. That's awesome. Got another one of these. What is that? Is that a pen? Okay, so I probably should... Uh, now look at that. I will look at that later. I'm going to put the... I don't know what I should put there. Trash can! Sweet! I gotta have a trash can! I always wanted a trash can. What if I could actually throw things away? That would be pretty cool. New Ooh! Data terminal! Integrating new PDA data. Sweet! All right, we'll have to make sure to read those later. That's all on fire, but it doesn't look anything good. That whole area is blockaded off, so we don't have to worry about that still. And I used to be able to get in here. Why can't I get in there anymore? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to go this way. And then jump in, I guess. There we go. I don't know how I'm gonna get out now, though. That's gonna be kind of awkward to get out. What? Wait, what? What? There's a combination lock here now. Anything in here say anything about a combination lock? Is there anything about... Oh, here's codes right here. So, 18, 22... 
Cargo bay is one four five four. Just making sure. Ta da! This is new. Oh, please say I can have one of those. That's awesome. There's some water. I actually need some water right now. Well, this is a brand new area. I was not expecting to see this. I thought it was going to be... Okay. I still have a little bit of fire extinguisher left. Oh, I got a nutrition block. I'm going to switch this out with this one. There we go. No? Okay. What else is in here that I can use? Please say I can scan this. Okay, fine. Please say I can drive this. No? I want one of these. <laughs> that would be so cool to have one of these. I run down before the fire lands on my head. Okay, there we go. I still have a radiation suit on, right? Yes, I do. Good. What is that noise? Can't repair that. Okay, this whole place has changed so much. Oh, I don't have a... I did find diamond. I bet you I could find a cutter. I don't know what it takes. I'll be back with that at, uh, later if I can find a cutter. Might need to start building fire extinguishers. Ah, here we are. This is where I was. Oh, I got another power efficiency model. Now I've got two for that. Oh. Okay. Um, let's see here. This still has no signal. Do we still have holes in here, or... What's the dealio about that? No holes, so I believe it kept our work. Except those things are annoying. I killed it, good. Ah, get off me! Whoa! There are a lot of these things. All of them. Okay, got new data. Um, the hole is gone. So that's why I couldn't figure out where the hole went. I was gonna take the shortcut in, but there's no shortcut anymore. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna see what else is over here. This is the drive room. So I was in the drive room before. It just wasn't that hard to get to. Ooh, ooh, this I can fix. Hopefully nothing big comes through it. Is that Seamoth? This is totally a Seamoth fragment. That's awesome. You can actually find sea moss in here now. Ooh. I find another uh, pressure compressor for the sea moss. Sweet. Now I got two. All right. So we are in there. We got all that done. Uh, we have another pressure comp compensator, which would be great because that means I can actually go down to the bottom of my base this time rather than always trying to figure it out. There's nothing else in here, it doesn't look like. 
And this fire is back. So the fire only temporarily goes away. And that's a battery. Batteries are always good. Alright, so my Seamoth for some reason doesn't actually increase. Even though I have two power... Or, what are those things they're called? Compensators. In it. I don't know if it was a compensator or what it was called. Either way, that, that kind of is unusual. So here we are going back down to the base. And, um. Caution. Passing safe depth. Ooh. I almost had crush depth, so I actually need to stay above that still. There it is! There's my big diamond! It's massive! There's some quartz. I could always use that. Actually, no, I can't. I have way too much quartz. I need to start moving everything down here, and I will do that off camera. Power cell charger! Yes, please! Yes, I have the power cell charger now. Woo! That's going to be very, very helpful. That's just a fragment, so I'll get some titanium out of this. Biodiversity is unusually low. Probably because there's a predator or something Welcome in here. Aboard, Captain. Anyways, now we're going back to the Aurora. I just wanted to see what those were, and that happened to be exactly what I needed, so... Okay, it looks like we have a new message. What's this sign? Okay, this is the trading vessel Sub Sunbeam, Aurora. We've received your emergency transition, and we are coming for a closer look. Plan to engage a slow burn and slingshot around the moon to conserve fuel. We'll alert you when you drop into low orbit around your planet. Stay safe. Sunbeam out. So we have another um, ship outside. It looks like they are slowing down around the moon and going to slingshot down here. Which probably means we're going to have another crash landing because... I mean, I don't think we get off this island that easily. But we do have a uh, someone to come help us out, which is good. <laughs> Prefer to not die again. I think I could use this. I'm going to make another fire extinguisher just because. And then I was after the laser cutter. That's what I wanted. So if we see another ship, I guess we have to alert it that I am, you know, here. Which is kind of cool. That means that we actually have someone coming to save us, finally. About time. Alright, I believe this is the door we were supposed to cut. Yes, it is. Okay. So. Laser cutter that right here for now cut this down real quick and find out what's inside because I need to know what's behind this door oh, I'm actually like cut you can actually see me cutting around the door that's really cool it takes a lot to cut a hole through this door jeez Woo! That looks hot. Get some air real quick and go back down. So this is the locker room or something like that. That's a first aid kit. Those are always good to have. This is really cool. Oh, what what do we have here? Is this the hall? All right, we have found a whole new area. Okay, so first I need to cut the get rid of this. And then I need to weld this open or weld it back together, fix it. And open it up. What is this? An exosuit? An exosuit? One of four. Yes, please. That's an exosuit. 
This is super cool. How do we get out of this water? Here we go. Oh ho ho! Oh, I've always wanted one of these things. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's with the music, but this is really cool. I have an exosuit? Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with it! I got a bar table. Cool. This has turned into an amazing adventure. They made this place so much bigger, which is epic! It appears that the fire does not stay out permanently, so that's uh, something I will have to keep in mind over time. I could legitimately live in here, no ish, no trouble whatsoever. What do we have here? The PDA file? I need to start reading these after a little bit here. I completely got rid of the fire in here. Cool. Don't just cut this open. I can't open that. Okay. Take a new fire extinguisher. Keep calm poster. Please and thank you. Oh, I will have fun with that. And then, uh, chicken, uh, something. I can't read those. That says Nick. I feel like it says naked potato, but. I'm not quite sure on that. Okay, there's that. The lab counter. Oh, yes. I, fi I finally can decorate my new base. I'm really happy. Filtered water, please. All right. Narrow bed. Where? Supposedly, there's a narrow bed right behind this wall or something like that. I'm glad I brought so many batteries with me. Oh wow, I have too much stuff on me. Let me go around this. This is the living quarters, so that's really good. Oh. Okay, this is a wall shelf behind there. But I'm going to have to use another code to get in here. Which I may have already found. I'm not entirely certain whether I have or not. It's a picture of a girl. Hi. Can I not have a picture of a girl? I want a picture of a girl. Um, Kim's birthday. I, that must be my girlfriend. It is 1806. Weeks still before we get home. Okay, so that's data. I need technical. I need codes. All right. Well, it appears I can't figure that out. Because I don't see the code anywhere else. Four, five, four, wait, what was it? Four, five, four, six. No. How about this one? Uh, oh, there we go. Four, five, four, six. No. And four, five, four. No. Okay, so it's neither one of those. So I'm going to figure out the code, uh, and I'll be back in the next episode. And hopefully by then, I will know what... I'm trying to type in and what button it is or all that good stuff. So I see you next one and uh, until then, bye bye. What? You just jumped in there. I know. Hey, what? Nick, Nick, chase me, chase me. <laughs> hey, Nick, I'm. Oh!